everyone, Morgoth the Barbarian here, and welcome to the... Well, do we call this the 19th episode of our City Skylines playthrough or not? If you recall, we had a tsunami come this coming through our city, but it was way too strong for my liking. It just obliterated the whole city to the point where it rendered ended the game. That was basically how powerful it was, so I'm making a mental note that from now on, Tsunami Intensity is getting capped at 5. So, I decided to take a little bit of a mulligan and restart. So, I guess this really is the real episode 19. Or 19 part 2, uh, whatever you want to call it. So, we're just going to pretend like that whole Tsunami didn't happen and just pick up where we left off. <laughs> <laughs> I I guess that's kind of cheating for this challenge, but, you know, I forgot that level 10 tsunamis were just that obliterated, so apologies for kind of dragging everyone down the rabbit hole, per se, so we are back to a fresh new start. Uh, obviously, the luck will be tested right from where we last left off and starting next year and we'll keep going on this playthrough so hit those like and subscribe buttons especially if you like seeing that whole little disaster fantasy as I like to call it I mean I could say something else but uh, that's not YouTube appropriate <laughs> so before all of that kind of ruined us we were in the middle of building up our city even more. I was getting some grids al screwed along, and then that happened. We are still trying to fill this out, for which is the main focus. Uh, ignore the fires. The fire department has got that. <laughs> I'm sure they do. But if I'm looking around, I see immediately our commercial demand is already getting close so let me just start off by doing this uh, not that far out oh the cargo airport has decided to catch fire that's lovely oh, it's a lovely event whenever that sort of thing happens so yeah tsunami waves i'm making an executive decision and capping them at five the intensity that was a little bit too rough and but that's my probably my own fault for not remembering how bad it was so oopsies Put some more run in this. There we go. We'll start by filling this out a little bit more. But everything else is still fair game for, you know, higher level stuff, including Flaming Hail. So just so we're all perfectly clear on that. So we, we got to set some new ground rules here for what we're going to do. I, I, there, we can have some more of that. So, I guess if we're going by, you know, what we were going to do from last episode. We should probably keep going on the whole gr more grid thing. There we go. Now you've got some electricity. Wait. Okay, we're fine. I always forget the watering part because this is me we're talking about. So what ended up happening is we basically ran out of money. There was just nothing I could do to save the city. It ended up being GG's. And yeah, it, it one that it didn't work out the way I thought it would. So, ooh, we won, sweet. We won the sports ball game. So unfortunately, we're gonna have to, we kinda made a decision to hit the reset button on it. Oopsies. And it's duly noted. <laughs> so, got a little bit too rough with our luck there, so. So, picking up where we left off. Obviously, we still need to do more grids, but we still got a whole host of other problems, too. This aerial area is just still a mess, though it's a little bit better than it, a lot better than it was earlier. <clears throat> Excuse me. I probably will be putting more residential neighborhoods in here. Or what I could do. Uh, see. 
Hmm. I'm gonna. I think I have an idea for this area, but we'll we'll address it later on. We still got a whole lot of spaces to fill in, so my main goal is gonna be to let this playthrough go for, go on, and then basically just build up the rest of the grid so that when we're ready, we can fill them in. There are still a few, going to be a few other decisions, such as mass transit links for the hilly areas, because it's very difficult to get subway stations in this area. We'll, go, we'll move that along as time goes on. Same goes for, say, this area, too, which I already see is at a problem area. What? We need trash. Hang on. Where is... Ah, there's why. This is not working. Alright. Let me actually put another landfill in this area. Why not? Another stinky landfill. I don't think anybody will mind. Oh, hell. We'll buy. We'll get two. Why not? Let's see. And so, everything is just working out just fine. So, I'm going to just keep on expanding here. Let the game go on. And hopefully Mother Nature keeps to itself this time. Don't worry, the tsunami wave is not going to come barreling through, I don't think. Otherwise, that's going to be very embarrassing to restart the whole game all over again. <laughs> or just let it go through and just end the playthrough right then and there, which is essentially what happened. So, All right, all right, we get the idea. You can quit laughing at me. <laughs> so, yeah. We'll pick up where we left off and move along. All right, I know it's been a little bit quiet over here, but we've accelerated a little. Whoa, that's not what I wanted to do. I hit the wrong button. <laughs> oh, there it is. It's the mouse wheel. Go figure. Just slowly expanding and getting into this area over here. Oh, we need more workers. Hmm. It's a little bit of an issue now, ain't it? Fortunately, thanks to the magic of science, I could just simply do this. There we go. But slowly but surely, we're expanding this out. It's actually now gotten over to here. We get to expand in this direction, though, so... Take that as you will. Actually... I think I got an idea. I, I'm slowly readjusting this on the fly, too, as time goes on. If I ever wanted to, you know, readjust this a little bit. Like, for instance, for, instead of maybe making this commercial instead of along this little main street over here, instead of having it be, like, more residential areas. Fact. One sec. We might sort of serve be more beneficial for this end a little bit more and then I'll just um, do oh, why not there we go slowly building it but surely building out here we're at 108 in the meantime I got this section basically almost all set up and ready to go actually I see one part I never really did let's extend this Along the coastline here. Like so, and there we go. So just to keep building out these grids, which is kind of eerie because none of them are really being used. What's even more kind of funny, too, is that they're actually adding to our budget costs. As you can see, we're actually, well, now we are, we're making money now, but there was a point actually when we weren't does add to it. You know, that, that makes no sense, but this is just to prepare everything for, you know, the inevitable. In case we get another situation where another mega tsunami hits the city. And look, I even bought, got like a, a small little cove over here. <laughs> it's one, one of those like, coves you find in Malibu almost. <laughs> oh, I, oh, I did. So, Everything's going up swimmingly. I do want to make just double check all of our services here. We're fine on power by a wide margin. Water's getting close, but I think we're still doing good. Garbage, we're doing just fine. Education's fine. High school's fine. Uni's fine. Although I could put one more in this area. Actually, that might not be a bad idea, even though it really isn't necessary. 
it's for all the office space that's in here. It, it's kind of unnecessary, but we'll do it anyways. It's fine. And actually, I wouldn't mind putting another public library just next to it, just for, you know, because I can. There we go. Let's see. We probably... We got another disaster area, but I'd like to put another shelter, say, right... Well, we'll do that later. Watch, I'm going to regret that. <laughs> this actually is a good spot for a forest fire, which is actually kind of wild. Policing is looking just fine. Same with our jails. Healthcare is looking good. Death care... Hmm. The cemeteries are getting used up quite a bit. That is kind of worrisome, but we'll let it slide for the time being. In the meantime, just to cover myself here, I'll put in another crematorium over here, and one over here, too. There we go. I put in a small commercial strip there. Child care is looking good. Elder care is still looking nice. I feel like it's been at that stuck at that number. <laughs> for all of eternity. Oh, I see something. Speaking of death uh, cemeteries, there you go. And finally, traffic. Actually, in surprising twist, it has gotten better? What? This is actually a little bit of a... Ooh! Okay, so I see one thing that's already looking pretty good. Uh, the, Remember when this was the days when this backup was all the way over to here? It has gotten significantly better, I'd say. So that actually helped this little loop. It helped so much, but then again, it also helps that, you know, I kind of nuked half this area. <laughs> yeah, so there's kind of a yeah, but kind of attached to that. Otherwise, it's over here in our industrial district now. That's where the problem is. But it's to be expected when you've got two cargo train stations and two cargo port terminals that are causing getting the bulk of the attention here. Um, I'm wondering if we should upgrade, say, from here all the way to where it meets the highway into a three-lane road. Six-lane road. I guess that would be... You know what? That wouldn't be such a bad idea. Can do it. Alright. I'm gonna do it. Turn this into a six-lane highway over here. Traffic a few more options. And we'll upgrade it right about to here. I don't think we need to go any further than that. There we go. Give it a traffic some more options here. This whole section, though, is just cram-packed with cars. There's not much I can do about it. You can also turn this to a six-lane highway, not for nothing. Um, what's funny is traffic really isn't using this exit. They're using the other one that's over here. Hmm. You know what? Let's do it to this... Same exercise, but we'll do it over here. Why not? So right about there. Well, that's because we already have done it. And this is already a large highway anyways. You know what? Because I'm in the mood to upgrade everything in sight. Sure, why not? And you get an upgrade, and you get an upgrade, and you get an upgrade. Everybody gets an upgrade, except, well, not everybody, but most everybody gets an upgrade. Yay! That didn't help. <laughs> you know what? You get an upgrade, too. Why not? Try to upgrade some of these industrial roads a little bit. Right up to there. That's good enough. So there we go. We got some upgrades done. Um, actually, you know what? In honor of the highway over here, we might as well upgrade this too. There we go. That looks 
lot better now, even if the highway, you know, is kind of all over the place, whatever. So, I'll see if that improves traffic. No, well, kind of, I guess it did. Kind of did. You know what? One La Vinyl area to upgrade. You know, why not? <laughs> and uh, you know what? You get an upgrade since I'm kind of the Oprah of highway upgrades right now. There we go. I don't know if I can upgrade this. Or if it needs one. Oh, yeah, yeah, you know what? It's getting backed up. So I'm observing it. Yeah, it's getting backed up. Okay. And actually, one final spot to upgrade. We might as well do this. Well, yeah, might as well do it. Well, here's what I'll do. Yes, this does need an upgrade, but... No oh, man. Alright. Because there's, there's a lot of stuff over here. That's right. It's all my um, industrial plants over here. We'll upgrade it to about... There, because it really doesn't... There, that's good enough. I don't want the traffic. The rest of that's just industrial traffic. Um, well, that isn't getting moved anytime soon. There's, like, landfills over there. That's kind of defeating the purpose. Okay. Again, it's very difficult to move landfills. You have to empty them and then move from there. So, I guess that's not happening. Hmm. Oh, well. Unlucky me, I guess. <laughs> oh, lightning storms. Don't start, you. Actually, we'll turn this into another commercial zone right here. And we'll make the rest all in the residential. Go in this spot. And I guess we'll just keep plugging along here. There we go. And I guess we'll just keep plugging along for the time being. There's not much more we can do other than to maybe fix some traffic stuff. Fix some stuff over here. There's a lot of abandoned buildings only because there really isn't that very many people over here. At least not yet. So we'll see. If, well, as time goes on, I expect that not to be an issue. Because it's not over here, so I imagine once this whole thing gets filled in, it won't be too bad. So... Anyways, we will just keep plugging away. Wait a minute. Like so, and then just keep going. Oh. The game is trying to screw with me a little bit. There we go, that's better. Had to fill that in. Alright. Strike the city in the near future. Oh the residents should seek shelter immediately if any is available. This game was kind of lulling me asleep there for a minute. Like, oh, nothing interest bad is happening. And now all of a sudden we get a random meteor strike. No, we are actually going to have to evacuate some people, believe it or not. Just oh, this one. Meteor's going to hit right about here. Oh, boy. Hopefully this isn't a terrible one, but we have been slowly building out our city here. And slowly building out our grids on the outskirts of town here. Um, I think that's... I think what's crazy is we're very getting very close. I can make a slight argument for maybe extending this road and then moving this road to the city limits. But other than that, and then we still got this little community over here, but otherwise this... I have a funny feeling what you see is what you're seeing from me. Well, and then this small little area over here. I have a funny feeling what you're seeing from me is what you're going to get. There isn't too much more we could build on. It's just waiting for the game to go through and for whatever meteors to strike will hit the hit. Like that. A meteor strike <laughs> has occurred. Avoid the impact site and head to shelter if any is available. Okay, so the only thing it did was take out our fire watch tower. Literally, that is all the flaming hail did. Okay, that was just nothing compared to what could have happened, so... Yay? 
Yeah, a building and a tree destroyed. Otherwise, that really didn't do anything. See, there's the lonely tree that's on fire. It, it's fine. The fire watch tower will rebuild. You know what? I don't even need that. Get, you know what? You're done. I think we've got enough fire watch. Well, actually, if I'm putting a fire watch tower. That is disasters. You, we're not doing anything with that. There. That's probably the better spot for it. And actually, let's put a couple over here to guard against any potential silliness that might happen from forest fires. Well, not like that has happened this game before. Ironically enough, I think that is the most common disaster that has happened so far, which is kind of funny. We have... Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, we have at least had everything at least once now. By the way, if I do roll another 10, it should be noted. You know, actually, we have had, they haven't, technically haven't had the tsunami just yet, but, well, we all know how well that went. The, I, for the record, if I roll a 10 again, it's going to be, I'll roll a D8, but we'll exclude the tsunami. That's basically how that's going to go. Otherwise, oh, congrats on 110. Yay. We're just about at the year 2056, so we're just moving and grooving at this point, just moving along. Borrow a phrase from somebody I know. I watch on this place, and we'll see from here. Actually, I do got to do some stuff, so we'll just keep going along. All right, so this is basically going to be the bulk of it at this point. What you're seeing on screen is basically what you're going to get for grids. Yeah, so I might slap in a few more roads over here. But a lot of this empty space, you're see and some over here, but a lot of what you're seeing is kind of like slopes and stuff, so I'm really hesitant to build on those. It, it would be creative life and a little landscaping disaster. This is all hills, too. Bottom line is, I'm going to be crossing my fingers that I can fill this whole thing out by the time this game ends from a time standpoint. And I'm not talking about what happened in the first part of this episode. I'm talking about the fact that we're down to our final 16 years of this playthrough. It's going to be a real race to try to fill this in as much as we possibly can. I can't just do it, though, because the result would be very chaotic if I did. Uh, other than that, we are kind of um, expanding quite well here, I must say. Besides from a few hiccups here and there, such as, you know, not having enough workers in this zone. Or what have you. I have built some schools in this area to try to mitigate the effect, but <clears throat> ultimately speaking, don't think there's too much more we can do other than that. So, the question becomes, now what? Well, it's a two-fold thing. Obviously, we, well, first things first, we gotta power this up. Oh, now I see why. Oh, okay. Okay, we need more power plants. Ah, okay. As I was saying before the game decided to cut me off. Put a couple of oil power plants over here. Why not? And a few more windmills. Also, why not? There we go. Do we need more water while we're at it? Nah, we're, we're looking good there. Garbage, you good? As far as I can tell, we're fine. And then same for, well, healthcare, we're fine. Education, we're good too. Got plenty of space at our universities and schools. We just need to build more of these schools all over the place. So, what we need to do from this point forward is to try to encourage as much growth as we possibly can. The easiest way to do this, and this is where my experience playing SimCity kind of comes into play here. Wait, hold on, what is this? Not... Really? Sick? Sick from... Oh, okay, okay. Oh, wait, wait, do we not have any medical care over here? Oh, this is police. 
Wow, okay, well that is um, kind of disturbing, to say the least. Okay, I didn't realize the hospitals were not doing anything over here. Or the fact that there weren't any in the first place, because reasons. Okay, there we go. Is that better? Does that make everybody feel a lot happier now? Okay. The trick is going to be trying to balance growth policies with our budget. You can see on screen we are currently sitting at a gap of plus 17,000 as of, well, right now. Okay, now it's plus 17. We need to do is try to balance this out the best we can here which will basically be the precipice of the next episode is to try to balance this out one of the easiest ways you can do you can lower demand increase demand and this is my sin city experience kind of kicking in taxes if we could find a way to lower these tax rates we might be able to generate enough demand for this to go up a little more. Because we have tax rates set at 11, minus 2 for residential, but 11 for everybody else. Now, granted, we still have ways to te that we need to test our luck. The meteor strike that happened earlier was more proof of that. But... We're going to have to try to perform a little bit of a balancing act here if we can. That's basically the bottom line here. So that next time out, we will see what we can do. And we'll probably more than likely be shooting through these next 16 years without much of an incident. In regards to building... Outside of maybe a few monuments here and there, I can't really think of anything to, you know, put in. Other than maybe some of these other, like, monuments here. <clears throat> because I wanted to put City Hall and the department store in a nice spot, but so far that hasn't really happened. Well, I wouldn't mind putting the department store, say, in this area. You know what? Sure, why not? Even though we're not getting tourists. Where's a nice little spot for this? We'll blend it with a nice little high note here. Ooh, I see it. I see a good spot. How about right here? Yeah. Nice. City Hall? <laughs> Gotta give the bureaucracy some love here. I mean, not really, but you get the idea. Um... I know there's going to be noise pollution all over the place, but there's nothing I can really do about that. City Hall should be in the heart of our city anyways, so maybe right there. Alright, I'm not going to worry about the SpaceX thing. I suppose the Oriental Pearl Tower can be a nice little lookout. A few decorations here and there. Uh, not quite. Oh well. I mean, we've got most of these um, unique buildings. Aviation club? Oh, sure, why not? Oh! Ew, okay, it needs another airport. This is gonna look so weird, but there you go. <laughs> that is just going to look so incredibly weird, it's not even funny at this point. No, we'll power it up. Oh, 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 you want water? Well, too bad. I'm just kidding. There we go. <laughs> What the? <laughs> oh god, okay, hang on, we gotta see this. We gotta see this before I end this. Oh my god, it actually took off from there. Okay, you know what? No, 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 no. No, you know what? That just looks stupid. It's a freaking hill for, for crying out loud. No. No, no, no. That just looks absolutely stupid. Okay, no more disasters, please. Oh, that just looked absolutely silly. Just, I didn't realize that was a sloped hill. My bad. I'm like, um, no. You're not gonna do that. Don't put it there, silly. Um. Hmm. Could put it out of the, on the coast. Is this is any better? No, I know, I wish it had more flat land. 
Hold on, we're gonna get this right. I could put it up here, but then the residents wouldn't be too happy about it. Ah, that's a slope. You know what? We don't need the aviation club. I mean, it'd be nice to get, like, guided tours of this city, but... Oh my god, that was actually too funny. How it just, like... <laughs> there was this giant cannon in the canyon, and the plane somehow threw it up. I mean, we've already messed up one cargo port, as you can see over here. We don't need to do the same to another. So I guess the long story short is just perform this little balancing act. One last thing while I'm over here. Good to see my lane upgrades did absolutely zero. As in nothing at all. I could be a jerk and just turn this into a, a uh, six lane loop. <gasps> and then kind of like a long roundabout, but pff, I don't know. Traffic might not like that. Dead watch. Don't want to cram over here. It's like, hmm. There's our ideas that might work, but I don't know if they'll be practical. Oh, our power plant needs water? You're telling me this now? You, you, that you need water? Okay, fine. Some things just never change in this game, no matter how hard I try to avoid it. <laughs> All right, save the game, and we are off, and I will see you on the next one, and thanks again for watching, as always. Sorry about the two-part episode, but it just got a little bit, turns out the tsunami was a little bit too much, so I will see you on the next one.